She was doing everything right until she found herself in the wrong place at the wrong time. A prosecutor calls Diamond Green a truly innocent victim, and Green is missed by more than just her family. Angela Ingram has the story. Diamond Green was truly shining. The day before she was gunned down at Liberty and Walnut, she just celebrated her 21st birthday. The why factor is what's really bothering me. You know how you, you, you sit and you keep wondering why. You know, after I just seen her eight hours before that. Diamond's father is grieving. His daughter is the city's most recent murder victim. There's no way that I'm just the only one feeling it. Her mother, her friends, the other people that died, Many in this room at CityLink are also hurting. When Diamond came, you know, everyone loved Diamond. She has such a vibrant personality. The faith-based organization connects people with social services to help them succeed, including people with a criminal history. Diamond was a client here with a life skills coach. CityLink had helped her with her job training. The spiritual growth director led a prayer for family and friends, and many needed it. And so we thought about a time of just prayer and comfort. It's not a vigil, but a place where the family can come, some other clients can come as well, and just have a time to pray and comfort one another. Very emotional. Um, I think we're still all very emotional about her death. I think that one thing that it did do, though, is give us a little bit of peace. We all shared some nice stories about her life. For the people who knew Diamond, it's important that she's not seen as a statistic. Diamond was bettering her life, and her death has left a void. And then everybody keep telling me over and over, there's, it's, 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 God is doing this for a reason, and God is doing this for a reason. Well, man, I, I'm waiting for the reason. And I keep hearing this in my head, perhaps this trial won't end until you learn the lesson it was sent to teach you. What is this sent to teach me? And Diamond's life and career coach says that she was truly talented and really liked working with her hands and had hoped to have a career working with her hands. Here at CityLink, they really wanted to focus in on the positives in Diamond's life, saying they wanted to offer support to the family. Reporting live in the West End, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Angela. And Diamond's uncle, Jonathan Green, is accused of pushing his niece in the line of fire. Her family members say that the two had a close relationship and spent a lot of time together.